Hi, Grandma. I heard that uh, you had a question on cholesterol and that you were asking if it was bad for you. And honestly, cholesterol is not necessarily bad for you. But I will tell you that there are two types of cholesterol for you. And um, I just wanted to explain to you the differences between both of them since uh, you got back your lab results a couple of days ago. And first of all, I wanted to show you the molecule of cholesterol, which is this one right here. Maybe it's kind of like different. But um, there's two types of cholesterol. It's a uh, low-density lipoprotein, which is LDL, and the high-density lipoprotein, HDL. And uh, the low density is usually the bad one, the, the one that you're trying to avoid. And the one that you're trying to get is the healthy one, the HDL. And um, LDL was actually discovered in the 1950s. And this one is produced in the liver, uh, or directly produced in the liver. And this is what a LDL uh, actually looks like right there and um, this one the LDLs actually do not have a lot of triglycerides but um, has a lot of cholesterol and um, and a lot of proteins and um, LDL is removed by the liver by an enzyme uh, called um, ApoB100 or apolipoprotein I'm sorry to the LDL receptor and there's uh, seven different kinds of LDLs and uh, the worst one is the LDL3 and in order to control your levels of LDL um, of LDL you're supposed to uh, control them through exercise and if that is not enough um, through exercise and dieting uh, you can also control them through um, through medication but um, mostly exercise and dieting is the best you can do. And then HDL, um, it, this one is also made in the liver and also in the intestine. Let me see if I can find the, the picture. This is what HDL looks like. And uh, this one is first released as a nascent HDL from the liver and the intestine. Um, this one also secretes uh, an enzyme called the LCAT, uh, which is secreted into the blood. And um, it also helps with uh, getting rid of the cholesterol. And there are three different types of HDLs. And the bigger the particle, the better it is because uh, it protects uh, against the their cardioprotective. And uh, they remove the, um, the cholesterol. And if you can't imagine how HDL and LDL work, um, this is what actually happens uh, with LDL. Uh, it clogs your arteries. The, the excess of um, cholesterol right here um, clogs your arteries and makes it hard for the blood to go through your arteries. I don't know if you can see with the light right there. And as opposed to the other one, the other picture, uh, it's a healthy artery, and you can see the flow of uh, blood. And if you can still not see the how it helps, uh, this is a cartoon picture, which I actually like the representation of how um, LDL and HDL work. You can see the HDL guy over here working hard, um, trying to get rid of the cholesterol while the LDL guy here is dumping all the cholesterol in the artery. So that's how you see that LDL is bad for you. And also for HDL, um, in order to increase HDL and maintain it, you need to um, have a healthy uh, eating habits, stop smoking. I know you don't smoke, but I know you do have uh, the habit of eating a lot of... Uh, sweets like chocolates, uh, less alcoholic beverages, a uh, minimum of 30 minutes a day of exercise at least five times a, a week, 
And I read in the book that uh, 30 minutes of exercise should increase your HDL by at least 3.5%. So also uh, your diet uh, rich in uh, eggs, fish, and healthy fats like this and olive oil can help uh, increase your HDL. So I, I hope this helps explain the difference between uh, HDL and LDL. And if you have more questions, uh, just let me know, Verma, because uh, I'm very interested in um, your health and I really wouldn't want you to, um, you know, uh, be in the hospital or anything, but thank you for asking.